Good morning, Internet. Welcome back to the Incredible Paradise. My whole gas explosion over here just finally finished cleaning itself out. That was a disaster. Over here, I had a water lock and it froze, so I had to bring in mini gas pumps to clean this out. This whole area got hot. It's been... it's been a mess. But that is all cleaned out. I got this column expanded so I could put in hydrogen. The hydrogen rockets are built. These are made out of tungsten. Does it even show me that? Anyway, yeah, there it is. Made out of tungsten. So that way I can land on the magma planet with them. Why is there water everywhere? All right. Um, yeah, I don't need any dupes. Let's mop up the water that's coming from somewhere. Not entirely sure. Over here, these dupes have done a great job of just digging away. I think I'll leave the ice biome alone for now. But I've got all these metal volcanoes cracked open, but I don't have any steel, so I can't do a whole lot with them. There's a cobalt. So I think I want some naphtha over here. So to do that, we want to load up one rocket. Let's sweep all of this and let's bring back uh, all the clay so I can make more ceramic and all of the gold amalgam. And then I'll have to dump some food in there and let's sweep everything out of here just so we have it. Yeah, then I can bring some stuff back. All right, and then up in space, these guys, now that the whole area got cleaned up, they're off to go grab some more fullerene and gold. So up here, I'm working on making liquid hydrogen. What are we down to? Looks like negative 147. So super coolant's just about at maximum cool. And somehow I got one extra packet in there. So let's expand that. Just so this will keep rotating. It's set to nearly absolute freezing. If I just do that. Yeah, that would turn on, but I took out that pipe. Anyway, this is well below the melting point, or condensation point of hydrogen. So I just gotta wait for this to get up there, or down there. Go over to this tile. You can see it actually exchanges pretty heat. It, ex it exchanges heat pretty well. I have not had nearly enough coffee this morning. But we got about another 100 degrees to go. It's gonna take a while. Inside of here, the interior should be done. We've got food. What I want to start loading up is obsidian. I'm trying to think of what else I need. Oh, you don't have. Probably need some sort of metal ore. Just so I can build ladders and whatever else I need. To dig down into the magma. Oh, I think these guys have got enough supplies. Let's get them out of here. So that is Spirit of the Wanderer U. Change crew. R is the best pilot over here. And just to make sure I don't screw stuff up. Turn all that off. Target one, perfect. Enable. And then you automatically drop off your suit. Very nice. Got a little bit of food, got some stuff. Oh, and these pipes are pretty much doing what I want already. So I need to come back over here, come up to cargo one, which is you. And I need to turn off the water because I want to try to pump in naphtha and super coolant. 
I'll try to put those in a tank. So we gotta wait a couple cycles for those to get there. And these were still waiting on the oxygen to fill up. First one's almost full. Okay, I don't know if I've gotten a sponge slug before. I don't know if I paid attention to when they added these critters, so I apologize if there's new critters running around that I just haven't been paying attention to. What does a sponge slug do? Those are plugs. So they... Also, the stores in... Ah! Okay. So, while they do eat metal, they do absorb liquid and then put it into pipes. Very strange. Not entirely sure what the use is of them, but hey! New critters! I think I have a pretty good idea on how to get super coolant and naphtha into that rocket. So this tank already has my naphtha in it. How it has food poisoning, I don't know. Naphtha shouldn't be able to support it. Anyway, I'll then dump in super coolant into here. Take my cooling pipe, break it, and come around like that. No idea if that's going to work. We'll find out here shortly. When do these become active? I got 17 cycles. And you should not be... Auto bottle, you should... There we go. Sweep only. That's what I had to turn off. And here is my cargo rocket. Let's sweep all the stuff out of here. I want out of here. And let's get a full load of berry sludge. That pipe is now not hooked up. Now it's hooked up. Little blob of water. And now I just need them to finish this pipe. And we've got quite a bit of naphtha. Need a bit more super coolant. And this should take almost no time to fill up on oxygen because it was just about full when it left. And that should be... Nope, I got one more bit of pipe to do. Really? You guys... <laughs> Let's have 12 people walk by, then someone else come do it. I want them to deliver a bit more super coolant. And then it will be good to go. This I can probably turn off. Who's scalding? Why would you even go that way? Sometimes I wonder about dupes. I don't know what you were planning on doing, but that seemed like the wrong way to go. With all my liquid in there, we do a bit of the piping. And bang! Fill up the toilet water. Mostly. Now I just need them to deliver some food. And I can get my dupe out of here, and my cargo rockets are probably full. Oh, not yet. Alright, what did you pick up? An office mug. And an office mug. So yeah, apparently the second artifact you get from things are very heavily weighted towards office mug. Not very helpful. Well, looks like I got just about everything out of here. Let's send Ari back. I need to re-enable this. And deconstruct that. Never mind, he's gonna go fly. Change that back to five kilos. And then my dupe should grab all the extra food. And then I end up with some nice bottles of stuff. Really? 
<laughs> I can't make the pipe because I don't have any material. So what if I deconstruct that? Now, I have enough material to put all this together. Sometimes the game's a bit weird. Perfect. These guys are mining away, and this was getting down nearly to temperature. Yeah, it's set to 252, so about another 7 or 8 degrees, and then I can start cycling the door. Uh oh, looks like my uh, poke shells got angry. Let's get that pinch for a wag out of there. There, that'll help them. I was just also getting fleeing alerts, and I was like, who's getting smacked? Everybody. And cargo ships are on the way back, or is on the way there, and I decided to open the door up here. Because I want all this mass of super coolant to get below 252. That way when I close this, there's just a good chunk of mass to interact with. Maybe that'll help. It's just going to take a while. That last few degrees always take the longest. Or it's just I'm watching it and waiting for it to happen and it never happens on my schedule. Why would you turn on? Yeah, I mean, this is that maximum cold. Whatever, it's almost there. There we go, we're at the point where it's cycling on its own, so I just need to slowly bring the temperature down. To condensation. Go here. I think it's 253 and a half. It's 254 and a half. Rockets in orbit. Why are you in orbit and not landing? Landing path, but you took off. It's gotta be this block. That auto land it? Okay. <laughs> yeah, like this can get gas in there and then the gas kind of leaks out. Perfect. Disable that. Okay, now with Naphtha I can start making... Ooh, dormant, dormant, idle. I can start making uh, liquid locks around my metal volcanoes. And I'm just going to slap steam turbines on there and let the metal sit. I think overall looking like that will be fine until I can get some better metals for the aluminum volcano and the cobalt volcanoes. And the copper will try to fit two steam turbines on top and gold, they only need one. And I've got a whole ice biome that I can use super coolant in to cool everything. Seems like a plan. I'm going to start working on a pit farm over here to provide uh, food for these guys. I guess it is 
Really? You came down right like that and still that's not enough? Wow. Every time, making hydrogen is always just rough. Eh, we'll grab a hatch over here. I really should increase the saves. The saving every is a little bit too much. All right. Come all the way down. Same time. Options. Game. We're 700 cycles in, and it looks like they've done most of the updates. There it is. Liquid hydrogen. Fantastic. All right, now I just got to wait for this. And see, with the door, I should be able to get some pretty precise temperatures. But we will leave this here for now. And let this slowly condense out. Oh, I thought that was a rocket landing. I'm like, yeah, I've got two cycles. All right, back over here. All the metal volcanoes. Because I brought in a bunch of clay, I should have more ceramic. Nice. All right, what if this is not ceramic? And a lot of that I can't reach. Like these pipes you have to build before you build the rocket, but any of this I can make ceramic, I'm going to. Should be able to reach to there. think there. And this should already be ceramic. Yeah, it's just this little bit I wanted to build before I got the rocket in there. Anything to help keep this liquid as I start to rotate it around. Still gonna, it's gonna be a long time before I can launch these rockets. Holy well, if that's the case, then I'm just fed out of coffee. I'm going to go make some more. So thank you all very much for watching. I mean, this is just what you got to get through in these parts of the game. Like, I finally got material over here I need, and now should be more dupes over here. Why are there only four? Who's stuck in a rocket? You're just in a rocket. Okay, nobody's stuck in a rocket. Here's some berry sludge. Let's do that. Now, there we go, getting myself distracted. We've got a full thing of food over here, a whole lot of swamp shard hearts that I found. I'm basically just gonna go through, put a pump in every one of these after I get some naphtha put in, and then I can start sucking out all the air. And then I will have some free metal finally at cycle 720. <laughs> Hope you all just are having a wonderful day and are enjoying playing the game. Ooh, cargo rockets are back with my office mugs. And a whole lot of fullerene for not much gold. So, uh, there we go, getting distracted again. At <laughs> some point I would get an editor, but that costs money and I don't have any. So, I'm just gonna keep playing the game. <laughs> See you next time.